Hey everyone, it's Lisa from Dana August Nails and welcome back to my channel. Let's jump right into this watch me work. Guys, I'm working on my older sister again today and I've already prepped, done everything I need to do, applied those tips, shaped them for a nice oval, gone in with Gershon Space Coat, cured that for 30 seconds, and I'm going in with Gershon White Poly Gel. This white comes from that um, first kit that they did with all the natural colors. And I'm gonna tell you right now, why that white so stiff? Oh my gosh. So I'm using my Gershon Poly Gel brush and I've coated it in their base coat and I'm just trying to press this poly gel in. And you guys know I'm a big fan of the one bead method, pushing it up to the cuticle, making sure that's flush and then working it back down. So I do like an upward, downward motion consistently and making sure I coat the side walls as well. So this is a look of the middle finger on, not sorry, is that the middle finger? The ring finger on her second hand. And it's right about here that I'm like, okay, I figured this, this wipe out, sort of, kind of. And it doesn't self-level. Their, their poly gel self-levels somewhat, but not this white, I don't know. Anyway, I cured this for a full 60 seconds. Obviously there's heat spikes, so I had to make sure my lamp is on low heat mode and my sister was pulling her hands in and out of the lamp. So now this color is from their red kit. And this is color number six. I really, really like this. It is the it is the salmon color, okay? So this is gonna be applied on all the rest of the nails. We're gonna do a full cure of 60 seconds on each one of them and I'll be working like going from hand to hand as one of the fingers are curing on the other hand. So just to maximize our time. So I've gone in with the bead in the center of the nail and then I push it up to the cuticle, make sure it's nice and flush, and I tackle one side wall at a time. Now this number six poly gel, hella runny, okay? Runny. So it was like a bit of a task because I was coating my brush in Gershon base coat, which as you guys know, makes it runnier and also the temperature of your body, the temperature of the room, all of this, if it's like on the hot level, will make this poly gel running so we were ooh, it was like it was one about it was like those time crunch thingies but any which way so as I've like gone from one side wall to the next I work the product over onto the other end of the nail and make sure the cuticle is nice and flush and then I completely cover that side wall and even make sure that the tip itself is sort of encased like surrounded in that poly gel around the free edge area and then I cure for a full 60. So the rest of the clips are just you watching me do that. How are you guys doing? And are you enjoying some of the spring sets that you guys have seen so far? Have you been enjoying the ones that I've been putting out? I'm thinking of doing like a St. Patty's Day one. Like I have to do a couple of St. Patrick's Day looks. I have to do them. Okay, so these colors from Lavender Violets, to me, mixing them together, created like that same salmon-y color, just slightly dark. I didn't wanna go in with just that one, the darker one, cause it's like super corally, and the, the other one I didn't wanna do because it was like more of the beige. But anyway, the numbers don't come to my mind right away, but I will put them down in the screen. Either I've already put them, you've already seen them, or I'm just gonna put them right now. Then I add a bit of the Gershon top coat to just a little bit of that mixture because I want to make it a super translucent. So I'm going to keep the first initial color that we mixed and also have a little bit of translucent, translucent version of that just on the same palette because we're going to use both of them. So I'm going to be covering this white finger, the ring finger, in Canarine matte top coat and curing for a full 60 seconds because this is where our nail art is going to go on top of. So I'm coating my brush, not a very good brush I might add, in that translucent peachy color, salmon-y color, and I'm just creating like shapes, like little blobs of sort of petals. And I'm making sure that the top of them are sort of like misshapen and at the very base, they sort of connect to each other. Now, if you look, each individual petal, like they're individual, okay? They're not sticking to each other. The only point that they meet at is like at the base. So I do a bigger sort of wobbly petal on one end and then a tinier one on the opposite end. And then once I'm satisfied with the look, I go ahead in the lamp and I cure for a full 60 seconds, but to be honest, 30 would have done it. 
um, because it's not a lot of pigment to have to penetrate to the lamp but I did for full 60 just to be on the safe so now I'm coming in with the darker color that we mixed and in the center of those bigger petals I'm creating smaller petals that also meet at that um, meeting point and they're a little shorter than the initial petals just because I wanted to create dimension I wanted to leave a little bit of shading in there and again I'm doing it on both petals um, and then I will be carrying this for a full 60 seconds and I I did first of all let me just tell you guys I didn't even know that I could do this because I've seen it done in so many people's YouTube channels I've seen it done on Pinterest I've seen it on Instagram, and I'm like okay let me take a crack at it don't mean that crack at it's gonna work okay but we were it was at this point that I was like oh we could we could do this so here's some model ones glitter that my sister actually loves this glitter a lot I think this is number six in this you know the six pack that they do of these um, holographic glitters I'm taking that same brush once I've cleaned it I'm just picking up the finer pieces of that glitter and I'm attaching them to the nail because it's like a glitter gel, so I don't need to like put anything on there, like base coat or whatever. That's some silver foil that I thought was gonna work that didn't, but I didn't feel like moving it, so I left it there. And then I cure this for a full 60 seconds. And now we're gonna go in with Model 1's 1323, as well as Model 1 Solid Cream in number two white, and we're gonna use our detailed brush from Beauty Galleria, and we are going to outline the outer petals, the lighter, more translucent ones, and we're gonna go in a little heavy with the brush, but as we're coming down to the center where the flowers meet, we're gonna flick it up ever so lightly to create that point. There's no wrong way to do this. You can outline the flower correctly, or you can outline it in a misshapen manner, because this is more of like a loose, whimsical sort of art. But you can, you know, you can start to see the petals come to life here. And I'm sorry for like the reflectiveness of the light. Um, it's just that whenever I'm using this like little lamp to work on white, it just it always does. That's super annoying. Anyway, as I like grow in YouTube and just in the quality of the work that I'm doing, and you know, as I grow in my annoyance for faulty products, <laughs> I'm gonna start upping my game. I, you know, I got a new lamp in the works. You kind of have to stay tuned to see it. And that being said, I'd like to remind you, if you haven't already, to please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And definitely hit that notification bell. How are you going to know I post? Huh? Huh? Answer that. No, answer me that. Riddle me this. How are you going to know if I post if you don't subscribe and you don't hit the notification bell? How's that going to work? You're going to watch the occasional video? Why? Why? Come through for everything. I love you guys. Come through for all of it. So I'm taking my dotting tool and I'm just adding a couple little dots. Listen, dots never hurt nobody. I'm doing it in like four to five different sizes, putting it in different points and adding it to the very tip where those flowers meet. Dots never hurt nobody. Matter of fact, they increase your look, okay? They make you better. That is what a dot does. And um, here I'm working on the other finger, just doing the same thing. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much of this shot you guys can see, but I figured I'd keep it in because maybe there's like something that you can make out in there. And I do cure these fingers for a full 60 seconds. Actually, I think I cured them for a full two minutes just to be safe because you can't be too careful with solid cream. And Model 1 solid cream, I think it's very, very nice, but I am, however, looking for something a bit more uh, pigmented because I, I use these to like color a full nail sometimes and like white is weird I'm, I'm oh my gosh please someone let me know about the perfect white gel anything I'm gonna do Madame Glam's I'm, I'm gonna try eye gel but I need like the perfect white to coat an entire nail or to do artwork with let me know in the comment section please and now I'm using Gershon top coat I know it's weird because I'm always saying Gershon top coat is so runny but it just man listen to me the top coat that came with this just complements the product so I used it I'm doing a full coat of it I do cure this for a full two minutes guys and then I hit her up with some cuticle oil and take pictures at the end that is this video thank you so much for watching please like share comment and subscribe look forward to the product list below a finished video and picture of the look at the end and I will see you guys in the next one Love you. guys we gotta show the people what we eat in want us sauteed cabbage oh yeah a little bit Saute cabbage. Jeez, Sandra, don't kill it with the dang hot. Little, okay, little more. Little more. But you're saying little more, don't kill it, but little more. You're trying to make hot. You got the hot sauce on the towel and my pants broke.
Girl, on the Girl, food. Girl, calm down. Let them all on the food. Let them all on the food, but you saying, I ain't trying to kill Let them all. Thank you. Thank you very much. Damn, stand yourself.